All right. So here we have the WASP 4070 HDP. HDP in this case stands for High Definition Pellet because it is actually a very, very accurate and highly detailed printer despite using pellets for its print. Now if I hadn't known this came out of a pellet printer, I would have just assumed it was a regular FFF printer because the quality is actually that high. The printer itself is also very, very interesting. It has a vacuum build plate so you can just use just about any material as long as it's, well, able to be sucked uh, by the vacuum onto the build plate. Um, then the, there's a five liter pellet tank on the side of the machine where you fill in the material and then it gets sucked in via a negative pressure system into the printhead itself, which is uh, quite large actually, and it has uh, different heating zones. So there's one for the heating, uh, for the extruder barrel, so to speak, and then for the extruder nozzle itself. The whole build chamber can be heated up to about 50 degrees Celsius. The uh, nozzle itself can reach 280 degrees, and the built plate goes up to about 120 degrees Celsius. It is, of course, a single nozzle extruder with a 0.7 millimeter nozzle, but still, the results are actually really, really impressive. And you can use a variety of different materials. Now, this part right here was made from recycled PLA, but you can use ASA, PETG, whatever comes your way. And by introducing colored pellets, you can actually change the color of your part quite easily. For example, we've got this chair. Now, this one comes out of the big machine that we'll get to later, but you can see what the possibilities actually are when using these differently colored pellets. Um, I think I mentioned most of the really important things that I have here. Below the machine, of course, there's a storage area. In this case, that's where all the extra pellets are stored. Now, this machine here is a delta printer, meaning it has a cylindrical build volume. And the cylindrical build volume, similar to its name, is 40 centimeters in diameter and then 60 centimeters high. Now, the name is 4070 because that's how the machine was originally designed. But due to the large length of the, build, uh, of the printhead, they have lost just about 10 centimeters. So it's 40 by 60 centimeters as a build volume. Um, the machine will be released in May of 2022 and will cost 21,000 euros plus tax. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite curious what this machine can do once it is in serious production because the results are already this good. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.